In this video, I'm going to write a C program that's going to find the largest number in a file. So here when I say cat file.txt, it's going to show me the contents of file.txt, which has five numbers in it. And 201.75 is the largest of those numbers. So to find the largest number in the file, we're going to have to open up the file, read each line one at a time, convert it to a double so we can do comparisons, and then keep track of the largest number we found in the file. So to get started on this, we'll have to make a file handle variable. So I'll say file star fh, and that's going to be our file handle variable. Now file handles allow us to access the file and read in the content of the file. We have to open up the file to actually get a file handle. So I'll say fh is equal to fopen file.txt and then r. So fopen is a function that tries to open up this file and it returns a file handle that we're going to store into fh here. And file.txt, the first argument, is the name of the file to open. The second argument here, r, is the mode with which to open the file. And r means open the file for reading. There's other modes like writing and appending as well. So fopen is going to try to open up this file. If it doesn't work, maybe because the file name is wrong, or maybe because the file doesn't exist, fopen is going to return null. So the first thing we're going to do is check to see if fh is null. Because if fh is null, that means we didn't open the file successfully. And we can't work with a file that hasn't opened successfully. So we're just going to want to quit at that point. We'll just say here, if fh is equal to null, we'll warn the user. We'll say printf error opening file. So printf error opening file. And then we'll return one here. When we return inside the main function here, it terminates the program. And we're going to return one instead of zero. Because when we return one instead of zero, that actually signals to the shell here, to the terminal, that something has gone wrong in our program's execution. So now that we've actually established that fh is not null, and that we've opened the file successfully, we want to read in each line of the file. To do that, we're going to have to store that line into a character array as a string. So we'll make a character array here called buffer. And that's a common term you see used when we're accessing files, is we'll call the character array that reads it in a buffer. So I'll say here, car buffer. And I'm actually going to use a constant to define the size of that buffer. I'll say number define b size 1024. So 1024 is plenty of space. That's a very large character array to store one number. And it should be more than enough space. So I'll say car buffer, and I'll say b size here. So then to actually read in each line of the file and store it into the buffer, we're going to use the fgets function. So here I'm going to say while fgets buffer b size fh. So fgets is a function that's going to read each line of the file in one after the other each time it is called. And it's going to store into the buffer character array here up until a maximum of b size characters. And it's going to store it based on this file handle here. So it's going to read in the next line from this file, the next line from this file, the next line from this file, and on and on, each time we call it. And eventually, when there's no more content to read, fgets is going to return null. So, so long as fgets is not returning null, we want to continue to read in each line in the file and store it in the buffer. But eventually, fgets is going to return null. And at that point, we're going to be done. So here we're going to say, while well, fgets, doesn't equal null. So in other words, so long as it doesn't equal null, keep going and keep doing this loop body here. But when it does equal null, that's when this loop is going to stop. So now buffer is going to store this sort of string representation of the number. So it's going to have like 201.50 in it, but that's a string, not a double. We want to work with a double value so we can compare it to other double values so we can establish which number is the maximum. So to take that number and convert it to a double, we're going to have to include another library here. We're going to include stdlib.h because this library here has a function called atof, and that function will take in a string and convert it to a double. Then we're going to make a couple more variables to help us. We'll say here, double current. That's going to store the number we're currently looking at. Max is going to store the maximum number we've seen so far. And then int numbers is going to keep track of how many numbers we've read in so far. We're going to want to do that because the very first time we read in a number, 
that is by default going to be the maximum because by default, it's the only number we're aware of. So by default, it becomes the maximum. So here we'll do the conversion. We'll say current is equal to ATOF buffer. So take the number we've just read in, give it as an argument to this ATOF function, and it's going to return the double representation of that number. It basically returns this number here as a double value. So now it's actually stored as a double value into current. Then here we'll say numbers plus plus, because every time we read in a number, we're going to increment numbers by one. And we're going to do a check here. And we're going to say, if it's the first time we've read in a number, then by default, that number is the maximum. So if numbers is equal to zero, this is the first number we've ever read in. And we'll say that max is equal to current because it has to be. Otherwise, if numbers is greater than zero, we're going to check to see if the number we've just read in is greater than max. If it is greater than max, it becomes the new max. So we'll say here, else if current is greater than max, then max has been displaced by this new number because current is greater than max, which is the maximum number we've found so far in the file. And therefore it is the new max. So we set max equal to current. So when we're done all of this, we should have identified the largest number in the file. So we're going to close our file handler here because we're done working with the file. We'll say F close FH, and then we'll print out the largest number in the file. So we'll say printf max percent dot two F slash N, and then we'll say max. And I'm going to print it out with two decimal digits of precision. Just so that way the number looks nice. So we'll do a compilation here and then we'll run it and we get a max of 201.75. And so here we have a C program that can find the largest number in a file. Check out PortfolioCourses.com where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers, including courses to help you develop C programming projects.